Hi Taurus, how are my bulls doing? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. I would like to give a big shout out to my subscribers out there. Thank you so much for your support. In the last three and a half months, I reached over 7,400 subscribers. So I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your likes and your shares. For those of you that have not subscribed to my channel, if you would like to, I would really appreciate it. However, it is your choice. I would like to give all of you an update. I have had many questions regarding my spiritual leadership consultation services that are located on my website, www.psychicsoundsbyb.com. Those services will be available in August or September, um, give or take a week or two there. And right now I am testing some prototypes and I am super excited to offer those to all of you. Now, um, as you know, if you have visited my website, you know that I have a Master's of Science in Leadership. It is my passion, it is my goal, and it is my drive in life. So, um, you know, I am ready and raring to go, but I just want to test things out to make sure they work out okay. The other comments that I have received is that a lot of you want to see more B. So guess what? You're going to get more B. So um, after I uh, go ahead and get these uh, July monthly readings out, I am going to start two different series. One is going to be for the Spiritual Leadership Series, and these are going to be videos that are going to be posted one time a month, and they will be videos that address some of the challenges that we face um, in everyday life and how we can utilize our own inner strength and our own leadership prowess to make things happen for us in such a manner that it serves us and those around us. So I'm super excited to uh, bring that to you. Now I'm going to maintain my moniker and I'm going to be titling these series, Be Great. Very, very simple, um, very, very straightforward. So expect those to be posted after the monthly videos. The other thing that I would like to offer are weekly video or bi-weekly videos and these videos are going to be focused on spiritual guidance from um, the tarot with uh, the crystal ally deck as well as the angel guidance deck and I'm not going to be using the Rider White deck for that. The reason being is because a lot of times when I give my um, July or when I give my monthly readings those energies from that Rider White deck, those need to manifest and work their ways through that particular cycle. What the spiritual bi-weekly guidance is going to do is going to arm you with guidance and information to help you get through any challenging situations that you are dealing with or to help you embrace those energies to enhance any positive energies that are surrounding you at that point in time. Now again, I am going to call these um, uh, with my, uh, or I'm going to title these uh, regarding my moniker again, which is B, and these are going to be called B Weeklies. So just watch out for those. They're going to come out here soon and they will probably be posted between the 5th and the 10th of the month. Okay. Uh, Taurus, let's go ahead and let's get started on your astrological alignments for this July 2015 month, or more accurately, the June 21st through the July 22nd cycle, Cancerian cycle. What do we have going on, Bulls? We have the sun entering your third house on the 21st. Now, I am recording this on the 21st, and it could be the 22nd, depending upon where you live in the world. So for you, the sun is emphasizing and illuminating the areas of communication, of negotiation, of um, you know neighbors and siblings. So for you, Taurus, um, this is where the sun is going to be focusing um, all of your attention and it is giving you the energy and the drive behind that to make that serve you and serve those around you for everyone's highest good. We have Venus, your ruler, in your fourth house. So there is going to be a lot of love and compassion and you know just a feeling of just happiness um, you know, being gifted to you from Venus in your home life and your family life. This also is um, you know, who you are at a root level, at a core level. And when Venus is in this area for you, it 
softens that negative self-talk that you may be going through or I'm not good enough or this, that, or the other, and Venus is just going to lend its love and its compassion and its kindness for you to be gentler with yourself. So that is beautiful. You are going to have beautiful self-talk for what you are and who you are as opposed to negative self-talk. So that is just wonderful. Mercury is going uh, direct in your second house. So there's going to be a lot of communications as it relates to your finances and as it relates to your self-value. It's just interesting how these planets align themselves in their particular houses and um, in your solar chart and how they work with one another to make you aware of some situations that you need to address and help you to embrace positive energies to, to strengthen you and to guide you in your path forward. So here, this is just beautiful. Your finances are, um, you know, uh, getting a lot of communication. So you might be talking to brokers, you might be talking to banks, you might be talking to mortgage lenders, those types of things. Okay. Also, you, um, you know, might be talking again to yourself, positive talk. Um, affirmations, um, assertions, saying, this is how I want to move forward. So this is the energy that Mercury is giving you in this particular area of your solar chart. Saturn is going retrograde in your seventh house. So your seventh house is all about partnerships. It's going to be partnerships at work. There's going to be partnerships with romance. It's going to be partnerships with kids, partnerships with uh, alliances and clients. So here with Saturn going retrograde, something that you shelved a long time ago and you didn't think that was going to work out, Saturn is bringing it back again for you to look at it one more time to be able to say, what do I need to do? Do I want to discard this or do I want to keep this? And if I keep it, what do I need to do to structure it? So right now, as it is going retrograde, it is giving the facts, the figures, and the information that you need to make the determination of whether to let it go, whether to keep it, and if you do keep it, to take that information, take that those facts, take that you know intellect that you are getting from this revisit to put it in a solid foundation so you can build it so it has got some staying power and you don't have to revisit it again. And that is beautiful. Uranus is stationary retrograde in your 12th house. Now for you, the 12th house is all about hidden matters. The 12th house is about service. The 12th house is about the subconscious, healing, spirituality, okay? When any planet goes retrograde, it takes or it lessens the excitement that comes at you and it takes those energies and you absorb it more and it comes up from in you. So when you're in a stationary retrograde, you are going to have a lot of unpredictable things happen as it relates to your internal workings in your subconscious, in your, um, you know, your healing, in your service to the world. Okay, so this goes back to all of that activity with potentially any negative self-talk that you've had uh, with yourself when Uranus um, lends you its energies from an internal perspective, unexpectedly, you may say to yourself, you know what, I am good enough. And this may even surprise you, okay? Maybe you've been pushing yourself down saying, you know, I can't do it. Um, I just, I don't have the ability. I don't have the wherewithal. Um, you know, I'm not good enough. I can't be in this situation because I always fail. Those are some types of things that you might be telling yourself in specific areas of your life. So when Uranus is stationary retrograde, you now have this opportunity with Uranus energy to change and to think out of the box and to think differently as it relates to anything in this 12th house for you. Okay, Pluto is in your ninth house. Pluto is all about transformation. The ninth house is all about higher education. The ninth house is all about, um, you know, the occult, foreign people, foreign places, foreign lands, uh, legal, law, those types of things. So with this, um, go, with Pluto transforming these areas of your life, you may have a child that is considering or is looking at higher education, wanting to move on to college. You may have a child that is maybe a junior in high school, a senior in high school, and you are looking at colleges for your child at this point. 
that could be how this manifests for you. If you don't have any children, you could really be embracing the transformative or the transformative processes as it relates to your spirituality. You may be looking at ways to transform your spirituality, ways to transform how you deal with legal, with law, those types of things. So in this particular instance, there might be some type of legal or law issue that is in your life at this moment and it is transforming who you are from the inside out. So embrace it. Even if it is a negative, embrace it. It is here to transform you into the person you were meant to be. Mars until June 24th is in your second house of finances and of self-value. Mars is giving you the aggression, is giving you the determination, is giving you the fire behind everything to make changes as it relates to your finances you know, from you know, the money you make from the company that you work for or your self-value. You know, there's a lot of activity going on and I'm, I'm getting from spirit right now. There's, for some of you, there's a lot of negative self-talk like I'm not good enough. I feel like a failure. I feel like I can't do anything right. That is going to change. All of this is going to change. You have got blessings on the way. So make sure that you embrace all of these transformative changes. You know, like I said, even if they appear negative on the surface, they are here to help you. They're here to put you on the right path so that you can serve yourself and serve others, your family, your clients, your work partners, you know, anyone. You're, you just, now is the time to change Taurus. And the thing is, a lot of times bulls don't like change. You guys like to keep things status quo. Well, the universe is not having any of it. It's time to change. It's time to take charge and make the change for yourself or the change is gonna be made for you, okay? Um, after the 24th of June, Mars is going to be in your third house. So your communications are going to have that aggression. Your communications are going to have that fire, are going to have that drive behind it. So anything that you want to communicate um, at this present time as it relates um, to uh, negotiations and contracts, this is a great time to use this analytical Mercury energy, savvy, sassy Mercury energy to achieve your goals. Neptune is retrograde in your 11th house. Now your 11th house is all about um, networking, hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, groups. With Neptune going retrograde, there is a truth that is going to be revealed. If you watched my prior videos for the prior month, you are going to see that I did mention that Neptune retrograde is going to remove the rose-colored glasses. You will be faced with the truth and nothing but the truth. And there may have been truths that knocked your socks off. But remember, the truth is always there so that you can have the intelligence and the information to use in order to build the type of future that you want in your life. The full moon is going to be on Capricorn on the first or the second, depending upon where you are in the world. And for you, this is in your ninth house. There is going to be a culmination. There is going to be an ending. There is going to be an ending that creates a culmination, that creates a new path for you um, with this full moon. And you're gonna like it because there is a lot of structure and stability here because this is running through the filter of Capricorn energies. So for you in the ninth house, this could all be this could be all about higher education, legal, law, those types of things. So there might be, I'm, I'm definitely sensing there's some type of legal or law thing that kind of shook you to your core that is either culminating like a decision is being made on um, a legal uh, action uh, about you, with you, to you, or an ending regarding a legal situation, okay? And um, this could also be with foreign peoples and foreign lands and foreign places. So, so this is this is beautiful energy. Uh, the new moon is going to be in Cancer, and that is going to take place um, on the 15th or 16th, depending upon where you are in the world. And that's taking place in your third house. So for you, you can set your new moon intentions on how it is you want to communicate moving forward with anyone in your environment. Okay, if you're saying I want to remove ambiguity from the type of um, 
from the type of communications that I send and I receive. So when you do this, you light your candle, you set your intentions, you do a prayer meditation, and you write it down, you read it, and you send out to the universe what you want in this particular area of your life, not what you don't want. So you want to set intentions on communication, siblings, neighbors, um, short distance travel, uh, contracts and negotiations. So this is something that you can utilize to have manifestations within the next three to four months. Now remember, you are a co-creator with the universe, so you've got to do the work too. The universe will answer and that manifestation will happen. Okay, bulls, let's see what we've got going on with your tarot reading. So um, I'm going to use the Rider White deck. The first card is going to be for general energies. The second card is going to be for work and finance. The third card is going to be for emotional life and love life. The fourth card is going to be for health and wellness. And then I'm going to pick a uh, crystal ally card. One is going to be for spiritual advice. And the other one is going to be for a spiritual challenge, something that you need to overcome in order to walk your spiritual path proudly and be very proud of who you are um, as a person on the inside and on the outside. So let's get started. Okay, Taurus, what do we have going on for general energies for Taurus? General energies, general energies, Taurus, Taurus, general energies. July 2015, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. And I do shuffle live. This one wants to come out for general energies. What about work and finance? This is for sun, moon, and rising. If you are curious, just to let you know. Work and finance, Taurus. Work and finance. Work and finance. This one wants to kind of come out. What do we have for emotional life and love life? Taurus, emotional life and love life. Taurus, emotional life, love life. Emotional life, love life? Health and wellness. And I will read these cards for their each individual, um, or their individual specific sections, but sometimes a story comes out, so I will make that known if I am getting a story from universe. There's health and wellness. Spiritual advice, Taurus, spiritual advice. Spiritual advice, what do we got? Spiritual advice, Taurus, 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 Taurus. This one wants to come out for spiritual advice. What about, oh, this one wants to come out for challenge. Okay. Okay, Taurus, what have we got here? General energies for July of 2015, or more accurately, from June 21st to July 22nd. Taurus, you definitely, for some of you, um, I'm going to sense for about 35 to 45% of you, there is some type of legal situation happening right now, and there will be judgment, okay? That full moon um, uh, happening in your ninth house about legal and law, there is going to be a culmination. There is going to be an ending as it relates to the judgment that is being handed down as it relates to you, someone you love, a family member. Um, or something that you are um, starting from a legal perspective. Some of you might even be in the legal field. You might be, um, you know, a lawyer. So just make yourself aware of that. Um, obviously, you already know it. <laughs> For some of you that are not in the legal or the law field, there is some type of legal or law that is affecting the work that you do. So be aware of that as well. For those of you that this really does not apply to, what judgment is, is it's rising up from the ashes. You have been in this coffin of like almost death, okay? You've been like in the dark. And then the angel comes, they blare their horn, and all of a sudden you are rising from all of that 
okay? The other thing that this could be is, Taurus, you've got to let your past go. You've got to let the ghosts of days gone by, you've got to let them float away and release them. And a lot of this, and this is probably the message I was getting with the negative self-talk. For those of you that have negative self-talk, you need to let that go. You need to say, a new day is dawning, okay? Let it go. Let it rise. The other thing here also, um, some of you might even be involved in the medical field. I'm just going to say that. Um, I'm also obviously Switzerland. <laughs> so, um, so here, pay attention. Anytime you hear a horn or something like blaring or like, you know, a, a, a car's horn going off or a train horn or something like that or somebody honking at you on the road, Take stock at what you're thinking of at that same time because the universe is sending you a message with that particular thought. If it is negative, the universe is saying, no, 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 let it go. If it's positive, it's saying, yes, 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 you need to keep that thought in your mind because that is the path that you're supposed to be on. So Taurus, this is, this is what is going on for you. Okay, what do we've got going on with work and finance? Okay, Taurus, uh, you have the Eight of Cups. There is something that you put a lot of work into um, that you tried to make happen that you are now going to be walking away from. Now, um, for those of you that work, this is what is culminating for you. So what is happening here is that the facts are in, I'm sensing on the 1st or the 2nd of July, this is when the facts come in regarding this particular uh, legal situation, regulatory situation, law, what you can, what you cannot do um, at work uh, for whatever reason. And once that judgment is handed down, even though you've put a lot of work and effort into it, you are walking away from it. Because, you know, you thought you were on the right path, you know, emotionally, intellectually, physically, and what's happening here is that whatever this judgment is, you are walking away from it. Now, for some of you, this judgment with law or legal, you see how you've got all of these cups upright? Some of you may have had a problem with drinking, Okay, maybe you drank too much and maybe you, you got like, uh, you know, like a, a DUI or maybe you got um, in an accident or something like that because somebody else, you know, was drinking and driving and um, this judgment is coming through on that and um, maybe you find out, for example, that... Um, this person like was like drinking and driving and they weren't paying attention on the road and that's why you got into the accident and that's why this this type of judgment is coming down from from the the law department and or you could have been the one that was maybe drinking too much and you see all these cups are upright okay so you are now walking away from ever touching another drop of alcohol again this could be how this manifests for you because there's a judgment here. So for those of you that may have potentially gotten in trouble because of drinking, you are, you are likely to never touch another drop in your life because it has affected you this much. It was like literally a train horn blaring in the side of your ear saying, stop, 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 stop. Okay? For those of you um, that, again, with work, there is potentially a project here that you get some type of a regulatory response and you realize, crap, you know what, I cannot move on with the project because I've got too much law working against me to get this to get off the ground. It's just not going to work. So that could be for what, you know, what some of you Torians might be going through. As it relates to investments, there might be something that you invested in and you realize maybe it was a sham or you realize that your return on investment is like 2% or 3% and Torians are really, really good with money. So here, you might be realizing, you know what, the investment is, I'm not getting my return on investment, I'm going to walk away. I lost in time and emotion okay 
I didn't necessarily lose a lot as it relates to a lot of money, but I didn't get the return on investment that I want. So I'm facing a loss right now, so I've got to walk away and I've got to invest somewhere else. For those of you that do not um, have a job at the present time, there was something that you actually put a lot of effort in to um, during an application or during an interview. You, I mean, you really prepared like no tomorrow. And maybe you got a call back and then you got to see what the job was really like and you realize, you know what, no, this is not for me. So all that energy and time that you put into it, you're just walking away from it. Notorians that this is your choice, okay? This is not something that um, is being taken from you. This is something that you are walking away from. So you can take the positive out of that. So that is, you know, you can look at that from um, a positive perspective. So what do we have going on with emotional life and love life? Oh, wow, Torrens, you're going through quite a bit. Um, I'm getting a massive download right now, so just, just wait a minute. Okay, Torrens, they're telling me that the old Taurus is gone. Okay, if this was you and you were drinking a lot and you're walking away from it, who you were before, like going out, having fun, drinking, um, you know, not paying attention to people you hurt or people that hurt you or, you know, leading people on, for example, in a relationship. Maybe you led somebody on and, and now it's like, you can't even get a word in edgewise because now they're seeing you for who you really are. This is this is only for a very small percentage of you, like five or ten percent of you. You know, this information, remember Neptune is going retrograde in your third house. There is information about you that is going out into the public. They're hearing about it and they're potentially throwing swords into your back. Okay? But the thing about it Taurus is that this soon will pass. This also will pass. The old Taurus is dead. You are taking this opportunity that you had, you know, you walked away from it and you are hearing the call from the universe and saying, I need to, I need to reinvent myself. That is how this might be happening for you. For some of you, again, if you were involved in a car accident where somebody was drinking, you may now have back problems, okay? Or your spouse, because this is about emotional life and love life too. Your spouse may now have back problems because of this accident. So just be aware of that, you know, um, as all these cards are kind of coming out in a story. Um, those of you that uh, tw that are Torians out there that just wanted to play the field, you're not going to do it anymore. You are completely switching. I mean, like I said, the old Taurus is dead. The new Taurus is coming out. You are ready for the commitment. You're leaving the nightlife. You're leaving the, um, I'm hearing the player mentality. So I'm thinking the 10 or 15% of you might be with the males out there. So um, that's what I'm hearing might to a lesser degree be females or maybe masculine females, but you are leaving that old person behind and you are ready to start anew. So for example, if you were in um, a player mentality, that person is dead. You're over it. It's not going to happen. You're not out drinking and carousing anymore because you have had the judgment call and it's time for you to change. For, um, for those of you that, are, that were in a committed relationship, in this particular case, you may want to get out of this particular committed relationship. You want to walk away because there was some type of information that was revealed to you, especially with Neptune going retrograde in your third house, about this other person where you are saying, nope, no more, I'm walking away. Okay, so for those of you in a committed, successful, established bond, you are absolutely revamping what you are in your relationship with this person 
you are starting over you are walking away from some of those things that did not serve you or your relationship in the past and now you are in this position where you are looking at the new day dawning for your relationship so that you two can start over fresh what's going on with health and wellness there we go health and wellness Taurus you have got the two of cups this is just beautiful okay there is a renewal okay old Taurus is gone the judgment call has sounded you have walked away from relationships that have not worked in your past or you have walked away from negative self-talk you are starting on a new path and look what's waiting for you you have a soulmate on the horizon you have new friendships on the horizon people that support you there are probably friendships around you that support you through your um, rehabilitation if this applies to you so you are embarking on some type of partnership as it relates to your health and your wellness so you might be partnering with um, a counselor you might be partnering with a um, a self-help group okay to help heal you to help move you away from for those that this applies to those of you that have been drinking to help you move away from your drinking problem so that you know you're celebrating with you know grape juice or you're celebrating with um, odules or something like that you know that's what that's what this could be you know um, indicating here as far as your health and your wellness you might be starting a health program with your spouse this might be part of that transformation Taurus that you have going on right now in your love life and relationship life you may have said to yourself you know what all we do is sit around and we watch movies and we play with the kids but we just don't do anything together well your advice or your suggestion to your spouse is let's work together let's go to the gym together let's go running let's go um you know let's go swimming let's go hiking together and when you do this you are going to bond on a completely different level and your relationship is going your old relationship the way it was is going to fall to the wayside it's going to die and you are going to walk away from um you know all those petty little disagreements that you may have had in the past and your 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 judgment time is here you're waking up from that from that fog from that um, that confusion and you have this clarity because now you're spending time with your spouse or with your significant other or the person that you are exclusively dating and you are bonding with one another and it is creating a more harmonious bond so this is just beautiful as it relates to health and wellness with you in other ways if you are suffering possibly from a, a back issue um, in your in your life you might be partnering you know here in the met this is medical field so you might be uh, partnering with um, some type of a physician or some type of partnership that like a physician partnership so um, there might be a physician group that may not be part of a big organization but it's more of like a partnership it might be two or three physicians um, in like a, a group and they may have the answer that you need to help you move through this potential back problem I'm hearing chiropractor okay I'm hearing there might be a chiropractor where there's two chiropractors in this office and they're going to help you get through your back problem so so this might be how this plays out for you okay so what do we have going on with um, your spiritual advice for this particular cycle wow Taurus we've got spontaneity you know and this this goes back you know to the health and wellness um, and this goes back to leaving the old Taurus behind because you know you are now free okay you've heard the call you're free you're you know 
naked. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of that which no longer serves you. You're letting go of the negative self-talk. You're letting go of the ideas that don't serve you, the projects that don't serve you. You are now free to open yourself up to spontaneity, to go out with your spouse, with your significant other, with your friends, with your uh, with the person that you're dating. And you're going to go out and you're going to play and you're going to, I don't know, maybe shoot some hoops. You're going to go out and play volleyball together. You're going to dance together. This is just beautiful. Spiritual advice is telling you embrace the spontaneity in your life and um, strengthen those bonds that will help you um, move forward on your life path. Okay, so what have we got going on for challenge? Okay, Taurus, the challenge for you is fire. And if this was spiritual advice, it would be um, embrace the fire within so that you can move forward on your goals. The challenge here is to overcome the fire within. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to override your ego. Okay, that is what this is, is saying uh, right now as a spiritual challenge for you. Overcome your ego. Overcome the need to um, have to worry about any of this. So, hold on. I'm sorry. I need to move this. Okay. Overcome the need for you to um, defend your ego side. You know, judgment has been has been um, laid out. Your ego has taken a hit, but it needed to take a hit so that you could walk away from the old person that you were so that you can walk away from your ego needs, so that you could redefine who you are as a person from a spiritual perspective. And when you do this, when you override that ego, what you find is you find the support, the friendship, the potential soulmate that is waiting for you on the other side and when you do have these friends come back into your life when you do have this potential soulmate or when you celebrate with your significant other with the person you're dating with the person you have your eye on you can bring forth the spontaneity okay that will strengthen that particular bond and this could also be a partnership at work so you need to get over the ego and let certain things fall away that aren't working so you can focus more on what is working and embrace the spontaneity and you will create appropriate partnerships in your life. Okay, Bulls, there you go. There is your reading for July 2015. Thank you so much for the time that you take to watch these videos. My videos are much longer than other videos. I do the astrology and I also do the tarot. And I like to be very detailed because I get a lot of messages when they come in. So if any of these messages apply to anyone out there, when it resonates with you, it is a message for you. So I just want to make you aware of that particular uh, aspect of my readings. Now before I go, I would like to say, as I always do, I bow to the divine light within your soul. And I have asked many of my viewers out there, all of my viewers out there, to send me how to say that in their specific language because I would like to extend respect and honor to all nationalities, to all cultures out there. And I received about 15 responses on um, how to say that particular phrase in, I think it is either Mayan or Turkish, I'm not quite sure, but it is pronounced in Lakesh. And what that means is, I am one of you. I am another you. So um, that is my message for you as we end this reading. Um, 
Thank you again for your time. Look out for the Be Weeklies and look out for the Be Great series. I am excited to provide those for you. And with much light, much love, and many blessings, I bid you adieu, Taurus. Namaste.